All right, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you a preview of my precious Texas Longhorns for the 2017 college football season. And the season actually starts off today hosting the Maryland Terrapins, but I'll talk about that in just a second. Now, they actually have a new coach under, under the helm in Tom Herman, which is an outstanding pickup pick to replace Charlie Strong. Just couldn't get the team to believe and get the... Uh, uh, the school of Texas to really get by his side for Charlie Strong. And he actually, um, I think he's a great head coach, just didn't really have a good break as far as having the team and the whole culture believe in him. I think that he should have got at least possibly one more chance, possibly. But I do understand the firing because they're looking to win and they picked up a great head coach in Tom Herman <coughs> from the Houston Cougars who had a 22-4 and overall record one conference championship actually um, pulled off a big a bowl win against Florida State a couple of years ago. But last season, though, I'm a little bit concerned of this pickup as well because last season there were actually a couple of losses that I think Houston should have won, especially starting off their season beating Louisville and OU. I didn't really understand that and how they performed as the season progressed. I thought this team should have at least been a it should have been a college football playoff contender, or not a contender, but actually a bid in college football playoff last season. But I still think Herman's a great head coach. At, came from Ohio State before going to Houston, helped the uh, Buckeyes win a national championship, and then he went to Houston and popped a lot of eyes for everybody and raised um, eyebrows as far as an excitement in a great way for him. I think he's a great head coach. They do have Tim Beck from Ohio State as well as his offensive coordinator, and he actually tagged along from Houston Cougars, uh, Todd Orlando, the d new defensive coordinator. Now, this season, I, they do have the return of true sophomore quarterback and Shane Bruchel, who had just under 3,000 yards passing, 21 touchdowns, and 11 interceptions. I think he's going to have a great season this year because of Herman as their head coach to help the offensive unit. Now, Bruch, as the season went through, Bruchel actually struggled a lot more with more pressure, but he was just a true freshman, so you got to give him a lot of props. But I think with uh, offensive coordinator Tim Belt, Beck helping him, I think the offense is going to explode this year. Now, as you look at the running back position, they have the return of Chris Warren, who is very effective when he, he is healthy. He needs to stay healthy, must stay healthy. If he's healthy, this team has a clear a shot of winning a Big 12 championship. He's very effective. Now, they do have Kyle Porter as well, who's going to be part of the rotation at running back. Now, as far as the receiving core, Shane Bruchel actually shared the wealth pretty well as far as the receiving core. Their top receiver is returning and Armonte Foreman. John Burt is a good deep ball threat. They have Devin uh, 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 DeVernay. And one player that I am looking at is Colin Johnson to emerge. I think he could be the number, the true number one receiver for Shane Bruchard to throw to. Now, if you take a look at the offensive line, the best thing that we have going offensively is the return of offensive lineman Connor Williams, who was a first-team All-Big 12 performer, and I think he, that he will leave the team come towards the end of the season. I think he can become at least an early second-round pick for the 2018 NFL Draft. <laughs> Now, they did lose uh, Kent Perkins, who's no longer with the team. He was second-team All-Big 12 performer. But I do like sophomore Zach uh, uh, Shackle of Shackleford, the center, and Patrick Avahi. I think there's a couple good offensive linemen as well so to protect Shane Bruchel and open up lanes for Chris Warren and Kyle Porter to, to use. I think this year we're going to beat Oklahoma. I just had to say that. Defensively, they do have the return of second-team All-Big 12 performer in Malik Jefferson, who is a true leader defensively. Now, they do have to improve a little bit more because Charlie Strong disappointed me most on, on the defensive unit, especially with be him being a defensive-minded coach. I thought, uh, honestly, they should have did better. But if you take a look at the defensive overall, the front player are uh, Puna, Four, and Malcolm Roach. I think they're pretty good players in the D-line. Um, on the other linebacker is Br uh, Brickland, uh ha ha Hager, who is second-team All-Big 12 performer. And another player that I do like in the linebacker court is Anthony Wheeler. I think we do have an underrated linebacker court who will wreak havoc this season as, as far as overall leadership in the defensive unit. Now, if you take a look at the secondary, the, well, that's the one area that I'm concerned most. We do have Chris Boyd Jr. returning, Devontae Davis, and strong safety Deshaun Elliott. They 
gave up a lot of huge yardage in the air uh, last season because of these guys. They need to do a better job. Now, if you take a look at their schedule, I mentioned today on September 2nd, they're going to be hosting the Maryland Terrapins. That is going to be a win. Yes, I live in Maryland, and I don't care, Marylanders. My Longhorns are going to beat the Terrapins. September the 16th, they're going to be playing at USC, Southern California. They're already having some good non-conference games to start off the season for Tom Herman. They pull off that upset. I'm going to be very, very, very impressed in Tom Herman. October the 2nd, they're going to be playing against Kansas State. October the 14th, the Red River rivalry against the OU Sooners. The 21st against Oklahoma State. And um, November 4th against TCU. November the 11th against Kansas, who we lost 24-21 to 21 last season. That's probably the one, the main game, which why Charlie Strong um, lost his job. And then we wrap up the season against West Virginia on November the 18th. I think we will improve at least two games. Last season, we went 5-7. and seven. This year, I think we're going to go 7-5, and five and we'll, we will become bowl eligible. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have two more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.